and my makeup did not budge. I didn't sweat it off. It just looked glowy, flawless, and sitting to perfection, okay? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you here. As you can see from the title below and as promised, I am coming through with my heat proof, long lasting makeup tips, okay? I finally found the perfect products to really lock your makeup in all day long. I've tried so many setting sprays, different techniques, but this one actually works for me. I recently went to New York, as you guys seen in my previous video, and that's where I really got to test these products to see if they survived in that disrespectful heat, and they did, okay? So you can count on this being a fully tested method, if that makes sense. So with that being said, make Make sure you go ahead and get comfortable, grab your macho, whatever, you know, sis, and let's get to it. So I want to start off by stating the obvious of how to really get your base to be flawless is skincare, guys. You're going to want to make sure you go in with your skincare products and then let that sit into your skin, let that glow seep into your skin, and then go into your next step. I know a lot of people don't really necessarily believe in primers, but there's actually some primers that I feel like are necessary to target certain concerns. Like, for example, you might use a blurring primer if you want to smooth out your texture, you might use, you know, a redness correcting primer if you have a lot of rosacea or something. Or you might use a long lasting primer just to make sure your base stays on all day and really grips it in place. So I've been using two primers. The second is more optional, but the first one is the major key to lock your makeup in place as well as give you that flawless look. That is from Urban Decay. Now this is their All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. It's their dewy foundation grip. It's meant to prep, smooth, and hydrate the skin. And that's exactly what it does and everything will be linked in the description box below as per usual but guys this primer has really changed the game for me when it comes to hydrating my base when it comes to giving me a flawless glowy dewy look i just want to take a second to show you guys the beautiful glow that it gives. So I'm going in with like two pumps. You can go in with one. It just depends on your preference at the end of the day. I'm going with two pumps because I like to be super hydrated. I like to be glowy.com. Do you not see how glowy and radiant my skin already looks? What I've learned is that the prep that you do beforehand really seals the fate of how long your base will last. The next primer that I personally like to go in with, and this is optional, like I said earlier, this is the NARS Smooth and Protect Primer. I personally like to use this on the areas that my texture is a little bit too much textury, okay? <laughs> I like to take some of it, especially like right here around my nose, just to smooth out this area. Sometimes I like to bring it around here too, like around my mouth area. I basically really focus it on the center of my face because that's the main areas that I feel like I just like that blur effect. So I take a little bit on my forehead as well. Personally, when I feel like I'm gonna be out all day long, what I've noticed to make my makeup last longer is the sheer, the formula, the better. I feel like it has more staying power, if that makes sense, which is kind of crazy. I just like to add coverage on the areas that I need it, but I don't like to apply a full coverage foundation on my whole face, if that makes sense. My two favorite tinted moisturizers at the moment is one by Rare Beauty. This is the one I feel like I use the most throughout my trip, as well as the Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer, and this is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, and they both have SPF. The Rare Beauty one has SPF 20, and the Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer has an SPF 25. So I'm in the shade tan in this one and I'm in the shade 42N in the Rare Beauty. So I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty today and I'm gonna just pick that up on my beauty blender. I prefer a sponge, like I'm a sponge versus brush type of girl for my base. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just distribute it evenly across my face. the shade match for me because it's just giving my skin literally that's why i love the rare beauty tinted moisturizer so much honestly this is my go-to tinted moisturizer to mix with a fuller coverage foundation i just love the combination and do you see how flawless that is guys i mean the base is giving my skin but better honestly now there's two things that you can go ahead and do here you can go ahead either with a foundation to give a little more fuller coverage on the areas that you feel like your tinted moisturizer would oxidize throughout 
the day. I personally like to go in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And I always take just like one pump because I'm only focusing honestly around my mouth area and my chin because that is where I notice my tinted moisturizer will oxidize a little bit. Even though the Rare Beauty is actually really, really good with not oxidizing, but the Smashbox one definitely does after like an hour or so. So you're going to want to make sure you either color correct underneath that one or you go in with a more fuller coverage foundation around the areas that you feel like it might shear out or oxidize after a little while. Honestly, really love this method of only applying a more fuller coverage, you know, formula to where you need it so that the rest of your makeup just really does look like skin. Yeah, I feel like that's blended really nicely. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup routine as I would normally do. So for concealer, I'm going to be taking this Huda Beauty. This is their full filter luminous matte liquid concealer. And I'm using the shade Brittle. Tell me how I decided to be a little adventurous and pack this concealer on my trip without even trying it beforehand. That was a risk. All I made sure to do was really swatch the shade to make sure it would work for me. And I was like, listen, everybody's raving about it. I'm going to try it and test it out. I was so happy with it. So if you're debating whether or not to try this concealer, I would definitely, definitely recommend because it is so flawless on the skin. The shade range is really, really good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It does not crease and it's not drying. Sometimes some of you guys message me on Instagram and you say like, I need a more creaseless concealer or, you know, I need a more non-drying concealer and this is the one. Also, you want to make sure you're setting your under eye properly because if you're not setting your under eye properly, it will definitely crease, meaning you have to make sure you blend out your concealer properly and go ahead with your powder over. And also sometimes you might be creasing because you, let's say, are using a powder that is not really that good to set underneath the eyes. Let's be serious. Some powders will have you creasing all day long in these streets and they're not delivering what you need them to deliver, okay? Or sometimes it could be the concealer formula is just trash. And that's just me being honest with you guys. And I would say it takes trial and error to figure out what powders work for your skin because we're in that TikTok day and age now. So a lot of products are going viral. It might work for so many people, but doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you and your skin type. So try things that work for you. That's all I gotta say. And I always like to bring my concealer more upward, even if I'm not doing an eye look or anything because I like to give my eyes that lifted look. So that's why I do that. Then I'll take the other side of my sponge that doesn't have as much concealer and really blur out that line by blending it in because yes, we want that lifted look, but we don't want a harsh concealer line also. So you're gonna wanna make sure you take the time to really blend that out. And I'm just taking this random brush to just really blend out the concealer. Okay, we're looking alive now. <laughs> At the start of the video, guys, I was looking so drained because my dark circles are reaching like next level of disrespect. But you can always count on a little concealer to bring life back into your face, okay? So now that we have that all blended out, I'm gonna go in with my powder. I've gone back to the OG, my favorite of the favorite, that girl, the Laura Mercier setting powder. It will always be making its way back into my roster, guys, because it's just that good. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little powder puff. I got them from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it in the description box for you as well. And you guys can always check out my Amazon storefront. I'm gonna start linking a lot of things there that I purchase on my own for beauty wise, or even if you're interested in the tech that I use, all of that will be in my Amazon storefront. So I'm just gonna take that powder puff, get a lot of product on there. And then before I set with that, I'm gonna make sure we have no creases. Remember, we don't got time for the creasing, okay? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set and then set along that line that we created as well. And I personally prefer to set one eye at a time because I like to dust it away. Like I said, I have more drier skin, so I don't like to bake. You guys don't necessarily have to do this step. I also like to set around my mouth and then around the corners of my nose, especially if it's extremely hot. Even though I got dry skin, that is where I tend to produce a lot more oils and greasiness, okay? If I'm in too much heat for too long, it just happens. It is natural. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend out this area and make sure I set around my nose, just right over there. And then I'm going to set around my smile lines area. Now you might be saying this is a lot of powder for someone with dry skin, but I'm telling you guys, it will not look cakey, okay? And I'm gonna put you guys onto how I'm not gonna make it look cakey. So now I'm gonna go ahead with bronzer. You can go in with your favorite bronzer, your favorite blush, it's all up to you. I'm gonna be taking this one from Dior Beauty. I just got it in the mail and I wanna try it so bad. So I guess I can give you guys my first impressions on camera as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some of that on my Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. And I do have a coupon code with Sigma as well, shameless plug 
all my coupon codes will always be in the description box if you guys want to save a coin and support your girl at the same time make sure you check that out okay <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some of that the shade i have today is number eight deep bronze and i'm just gonna go ahead and start to work that into the skin the one thing i love about dior beauty is all of their products just give flawless to me on the skin like when i tried their highlights the first time so so beautiful so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue to you know blend that out pack in as much product as i'm happy with basically and then I'm just taking this other Sigma brush. This is their Detail Buffer E28 brush. Just to add some warmth back into the nose, snatch up the nose a bit. And then I just like to go back in with my powder puff and just clean up that nose contour, make it look more snatched. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a second. And then what I like to do is I like to go back into my beauty blender. And as you can see, we can clean up our bronzer a little more to look a little more snatched. It's a little lower than we need it to be. So I like to take my sponge and with whatever product is left on there, I just like to chisel out my bronzer. But of course you don't wanna bring it too close to the face because you remember we set this area of our face and you don't wanna put a liquid over a powder or do this step before you set your face, you know? So I feel like I'm gonna pack in just a little bit of blush. I'm gonna be taking this Benefit Cosmetic blush. It's so beautiful. This is in the shade Pom Pom. Time to dust away that little nose contour powder moment. I always hate how on camera, my blush always seems more intense on this side because on this side, I have a big window that brings in natural light so it kind of washes out the pigment on this end of my face. But I promise you, <laughs> there's the same amount of blush on each side. So now we have reached the moment, my favorite part of my routine that is gonna have your makeup locked in place all day long. We are going to set it, okay? And the setting spray that I feel like is everything you need and more to keep your base looking flawless is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Setting Spray. When I tell you guys, this setting spray is one of those products that went viral on TikTok with justification, okay? <laughs> Not only will it blur your makeup into your skin, get rid of the powderiness of us setting our face, it's gonna lock your makeup in place all day long. When I tell you my makeup did not budge when I started to use this, game changer. And I remember even going to a brand event and it was really hot that day and my makeup did not budge. I didn't sweat it off. It just looked glowy, flawless, and sitting to perfection, okay? <laughs> Honestly guys, I was like, I did that. I did that and I survived the heat. And then I just like to dry my face with my little purse fan that I got off Amazon. And as you can see, our face is all dry and set. And this little purse fan has become a staple for me, guys. Like, it has been the best purchase. One of the best purchases I've made on Amazon. So it's a chargeable fan that's perfect in size to fit in your bag. I got this specifically for this trip because I've seen a lot of tips on TikTok of people saying that, you know, if you get really hot when you're going out and about, whether you're wearing makeup or not, this is a really good thing to have in your purse. And then, you know, you can fan yourself off, cool yourself down, you know what I mean? And if you're even setting your makeup, you can go ahead and use it to dry your makeup a lot faster. On my trip, this was such a helpful tool to have. And also, I feel like it's another great thing to have in your bag if you're wearing makeup for a long period of time and where you're going is extremely hot. Every time you feel like your makeup is getting a little sticky, it's getting a little bit like it's about to transfer, okay? It's getting a little, like your oils are starting to seep through. You guys know the feeling that I'm talking about. You just pull this fan out of your bag and I'm telling you, you, you just go ahead and dry your face and your makeup just stays put. There was one day that we were walking around in New York and I could tell that I was gonna start to sweat through my makeup. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I pulled it out of my bag and I literally had the fan on while I was walking. Of course, some people might side eye you. They might be thinking, damn, that's really smart. I wish I thought of that too. Or they could just be straight up judging you in your bougie ways. But also guys, what's the priority here? That your makeup lasts and that you don't die of heat stroke. So to sum it up, this is a great purchase, okay? Definitely would recommend. I think it comes in a white color too but i like the blue it's really cute so we're gonna finish off this look really quickly though i'm gonna be using the charlotte tilbury foxy brown lip cheat and then i'm gonna be taking this anastasia beverly hills toffee lip gloss 
Okay, yeah, I love how that looks. It's a very natural pinky lip combo. Number one tip I want to mention to you guys, if you are getting ready, specifically to my hijabi girls, do not set your face with your hijab on because it will stain your scarf, as you can see. That is why most of the time when I'm filming tutorial for you guys, I always say, I'm going to set my face and I'll be right back. I can't believe I forgot the most important thing for my makeup routine. Highlight. This is my favorite highlight palette at the moment. It's by Huda Beauty. I'm not sure if it's still available at Sephora, but it's like my go-to. I love to take some of this highlight and put it on my eyes when I don't want to do eyeshadow just to add a little twinkle on the lid. And it just gives the most beautiful glow on the skin. Like, do you guys see that? I can't believe I almost forgot to highlight. You will always find me with a disrespectful glow, like I say, unless I'm filming like a matte makeup look. But on the day-to-day, -day, I need a glow. Now I can say this brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys found it really, really helpful. And can take away these tips and implement it into your own makeup routine or your base routine because as you can see my base is looking very flawless it's not overly dewy like how I normally do in some of my videos here guys because at the end of the day I set it to make it more long-lasting to survive the heat and to survive a certain amount of hours if you're gonna be out working all day or whatever you know the more dewier you make it the chances are the faster it's going to transfer in my personal experience so let it set and and then just let your makeup marinate naturally and just allow it to get more dewier on its own throughout the day okay that's my other tip to you guys but yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful and let me know in the comment section below what other videos you would like to see from me and make sure you subscribe to join the family because it's all positive vibes we love to slay we enjoy ourselves in our little family okay so make sure you subscribe also make sure to come say hi in the comments I love talking to you guys in the comments and let me know if you're gonna be picking up any of these products or if any of these products are already a part of your routine make sure you also give this video a big thumbs up as well and like always i'll see you guys in my next video